welcome to my channel. I'm Rachel. So I recently just purchased this eyeshadow palette, the 24A Artist Pass. I loved it. I kept seeing pictures of it and then I found out it was limited edition. So then I was like, okay, well now we have to get it because if I don't get it now, I'm never going to get it. So I bought it <laughs> and here it is. I did take a little peek inside, but it is in its packaging because this is technically like an unboxing, even though I'm probably not going to call it that. Here it is. It's so pretty. I love that they put the shade names on the actual palette because I have the James Charles one by Morphe and they didn't and making like tutorials with it I just I just point out the shades because I don't want to have to grab a little plastic sleeve and line it up and be like okay now we're going in with rest like you know so I appreciate that a lot and this is just so pretty so of course my favorite shade even though I haven't used it at all yet is the little star one it's called like steal the spotlight so cute or spotlight stealer i read it backwards in the mirror i'm sorry oh, i'm so excited i'm so excited it's so pretty so i wanted to play with it with you guys and also has a mirror and i love that because i have to use a little tart palette all the time because it has a really good mirror but this one comes with a mirror so i can just just get to work you know okay so i really don't know what i'm doing yet but i'm gonna just start with a primer because that's a good start okay so i'm just gonna use the morphe primer because i do really like it it's my favorite and also since we're on a little morphe theme today here it would be fitting you guys like when i film on my floor because i have been filming on my floor lately and i'm just really into it i feel like it's just like chill and i don't know like i have to like color correct less on the floor it's because i don't have like the lights and the tapestry and i only have to make this side of my bed and i don't have to like i don't know i just kind of like it and it just feels like like we're just hanging out like we're just like friends chilling and i like that so let me see what are we doing i probably should have i don't know thought of an idea looked at inspo before but i didn't so we're definitely going to use the spotlight stealer shade for sure um i just don't know what to do around it i could do like pinks and purples and then have it in the middle maybe i don't know there's so many shades in this palette i want to play with i'm so excited i think that's like important at least to me and it should be to everybody and makeup to be excited about it you know like you shouldn't just do it like you should be excited about it so i'm going to go into stage persona which is this pinky purple shade in the corner and i'm going to use that in my crease as a transition shade i think i'm going to go in like a pink purpley kind of tone and i do really like like mixing palettes together you know like taking shades from a ton of different places so having them all come from here i don't want to say it's challenging because it's not because it's just such a pretty shot shallot palette but i'm not really used to that right now so i should get closer i keep doing this i have like a part on my eye like under here that doesn't really pick up shadow very well and it drives me insane now what okay so we're gonna go into max volume which is that why couldn't i think of the color which is this pink shade right there and i'm gonna lightly go into it because i don't know how pigmented it's gonna be yeah that's pretty pigmented i think i'm gonna try to do kind of like a halo effect maybe so maybe as i'm doing it so like i better be doing that so just like that just kind of like framing the center of the eye do you guys have like an eye that's more easy to do than the other one because I feel like my right eye always looks so good and my left eye always looks so bad. Which sucks because my left side's my good side. I apologize for the two lash extensions I have. I will be putting- there's so much cat hair in this. How did cat hair get in this? I will be putting big lashes on after. Oh, now I'm just going in with the major inspo, the purple shade. Just on the outside of that. And more towards the crease. Just kind of like deepen the look, I guess. I'm not like sweeping it in, kind of. I'm not like blending anything yet just a lot of like sweeping i think this one has to come in a little bit farther just on the inner part i don't know how i'm feeling about this yet but we will see i'm not like obs i love the palette i just don't know how i feel about the look i'm doing they're pigmented and they're easy to blend which is like 
to me some of the most important things. I will let you know in my description if this pink ends up staining, uh, which I I don't really care about. Like, I don't know, like I'm just gonna put more eyeshadow on top of it anyways. And then if I'm not wearing eyeshadow, I'm probably just chilling at home, which why do I care if my eyes are pink then? But that's just like my opinion. No, other people feel differently. I know when James Charles palette came out, he got a little bit of hate for the pink staining, but I feel like that's normal. Like I wasn't upset. Okay, I feel like I need more of that pink over here. So I don't really know how Spotlight Stealer works with like the sparkles. Like I don't know if I'm gonna have to like specifically grab the stars with stuff. Like I don't know if they're just gonna go on like that. Oh wait, I got one. Okay, I'm just trying to get like the little sparkles now. Put them down here. I don't know, I kind of like that. That's pretty, I thought the stars would be like a little difficult to get for some reason. I don't know, they just seem like chunkier, but no, like that worked. My brush is picking them up. I'm just using a flat brush. I do think I might have to specifically target them a little bit when dipping my brush in, but you know, like they're on there. Okay, I just took one off. I don't know if that's gross that I just put that back in the palette, but I just wanted them to look more similar. Yeah, so they might kind of come off a bit. Like I might use glitter glue next time, which would have made more sense. Like I guess we'll see how it holds up, but things are looking promising. So I'm gonna take Stage Persona again, that light purple, and go under my lash line. I'm also gonna take that pink, blend that up, bring about like halfway across my eye, go about there. And then that purple, just in that like little corner, like that. Okay, and then, okay, so then for the highlights, like inner corner brow, I'm gonna take All Access, which is this like shimmery shade in the top corner, kind of has like a gold undertone. And this one's a little blue, so I don't know how well they'll look together, but like I said, I just want to use the shades from this palette, and that's really the only highlight shade but I don't think that looks that bad. So I'm gonna throw on some fake eyelashes, which I've had to start doing again, but they are super fun. I haven't seen myself with fake lashes in like a really long time and I forgot that. They're like really pretty, but I forgot that they're kind of uncomfortable. I also forgot that one of my favorite activities is peeling the old glue off of eyelashes. So that's a super fun hobby I'm get to pick up again. I used to be so good at this. Oh gosh. So I'm scooping the glue off my pajamas. And I'm gonna set it down and hopefully not lose it because I already lost one pair earlier. Luckily, this is a double pack I don't know where it went. I literally don't know where it went. Found it two videos later We're good. I really miss like playing with makeup and I want to kind of start doing it again um, But I don't really have anywhere to wear any makeup right now. So like that's fun But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wear it because I'm bored and for me look, I think the glitter goes higher up on this side than this side, but I don't know what actually I like better I might just that oh no i took a star where did you come from you came from right here yeah i definitely would secure those with glitter glue or eyelash glue or whatever not whatever don't use like elmer's glue on your eyes please like please <laughs> but just to like make sure they stay like i kind of expect the stars to be gone by the end of the day where did the tweezers go i'm always missing something like why is this my life mm, i'm not gonna put mascara on my lashes to blend it like you're supposed to because I'm really just trying to savor any lash extensions I still have left. I know smothering them in glue isn't the best way to do that, but we are working with what we got. So there is one lash down. I used to be like one of those people who swore by only using tweezers to put fake lashes on and I like couldn't figure out how people used their fingers. But apparently now, I'm the kind of person who uses a combination of the two. And I think that's character development. Okay, and then just a little mascara. Oh, and just a little mascara for the bottom. Also, if you saw my video where I just remend my eyebrows, they're holding up pretty well. I think, I don't think they're as dark because I'm used to them now, but they still look like, so much better than my natural brows. Okay, I don't know why these lashes look so different. They're the exact same lashes, but this is it. 
that's what we're working with. So here is the final look. This is what we ended up with. I think it's super pretty. I can't wait to do more with this palette. Let me know if you want more tutorials with it because I really just want to play with it. Like there's like, look at all these glitter shades on the bottom I didn't even touch. Like the blue is so pretty. That's like, that one's like yellow and green. Wild. Oh, this orange up here, this random glitter at the top for some reason, um, called Wild Out. Like, I love it. This is so pretty. This one looks like iridescent. I think this palette is so pretty. Colors blend, work together super well, super pigmented. I would recommend. Yeah, so if you liked this, I don't know, tutorial, trying it out, I don't really know what it is. It's like a product review meets tutorial meets unboxing then give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.